Hi, this is Jacob Bell. In this episode of the Sci-Fi Discussion Series, I'm going to show a couple of leg models that I built for uh, experimenting with walking robots. So, a long time ago I made a couple of videos called Four Leg Walking Robot Development, Part 1 and Part 2, and all these old projects that I have, I still like simmer on them in my mind and in my imagination, and I gradually work on the designs and figure out what I'm going to do with them, but you know, obviously some are higher priority, some are lower priority, and I have a lot of other things going on, so I don't make that much progress on some of them. But I did print a couple of models for legs. These ones would be more oriented for a two-leg robot than for a four-leg robot, but the idea with the two designs that I'm going to show you here is that they can be controlled completely up at the hip and without any kind of motors or anything down here in the lower leg, just basically metal rods sticking out. So you have this center piece, swings it forward and back, front piece alters the foot angle, and the rear piece alters the lower leg angle, and they can all be controlled independently. But when I was <clears throat> messing around with this, there were a couple things that I didn't like. One was that it has <clears throat> it has pretty limited swing angle because it starts to interfere with itself when you get into um, if you try to swing it too far it starts to really interfere with itself around the knee area also the way that I had the knee joint it was a real weak point because you had a much a lot of material out here a lot of excess strength and then almost nothing here so I redesigned it, made an improved version. Um, it's basically the same design, except it has an expanded altered knee section that allows for a wider swing range. Completely up like this, even, without turning the uh, thigh piece. You get to this angle and you need to bring the, the uh, foot angle out like that in order to bring it up further. But it's fine to be, need the foot angle to be altered because that actually matches what a human leg would need to do. Independently controllable foot angle, lower leg angle. So this is meant to go with um, a hip section up here that can allow the leg to move in this direction and the hip will allow more travel in this direction. With these legs the main idea that I was shooting for was relatively simple linkages and full control, independent control of foot angle, lower leg angle, and an overall full leg angle. So this one is meant more for um, a robot that uses like a human style leg and human walking style. But I still like this older project. Um, this one was mainly shown in uh, part two of the four-leg walking robot development videos. And I was thinking that instead of using this wheel, I could just have two linear actuators, one to slide this control up and down to uh, extend or retract the leg, and another one just to bring the thigh forward and backward. I so I still like this mechanism. It's still in the running. Um, 
Some people had asked for the models for this, several people had. Um, I don't have models for this right now, but I will... I might make new models for a leg based on this sort of linkage. But I do have models for this that are going to be freely available, and if you wanted this one, I also have the model for that. So this one, just one actuator extends and lowers the leg. Obviously you can adjust the length of this slot and the length of a couple of pieces, get different amounts of movement. And then another one just to control the swing. And I was thinking you could have the cable like bicycle brake cable, that style of cable where there's a sleeve and a steel cable inside of it, that could run down here. You could have even a couple of them run along into here, through this gap, down the lower leg, and have some foot or ankle or toe type controls down here to help with, you know, I'm not sure if it would end up being necessary, but it might be helpful to get the walking to work nicely.